Hello everyone, it's M5. Before we start, I want to thank you all for the increased support for my channel. When I started, I honestly didn't think I would be able to make it this far, but thanks to you all, I have. So without further ado, let's get right into why I am a Daryl main. My history with Daryl begins in July of 2020, during the Summer of Monsters update. I got a cool heist clip with Daryl with my friend, and that's when my love for him really started. I had been playing for a couple months, and I decided to push someone higher up in trophies than normal, and I ended up picking Daryl. I grinded in Showdown for quite some time, but was only able to get as far as rank 23. But in terms of my history, that's where my love for Daryl really started. Later on, in January of 2021, I went on a bit of a pushing spree on my main account, and in doing so, I pushed Daryl to rank 25 for the first time. Then, Season 5 came out, and Daryl got two new skins, one returning, one new, in the form of Dumpling Daryl and Dairy One. I pushed Daryl to 800 trophies after getting his Dumpling skin, and pushed him to 850 after getting the Dairy One skin. I also had a free-to-play account that got Daryl and his skin from that season pass as well. And now May is when stuff started to get real, because on both my main account and my free-to-play mini account, I pushed Daryl to rank 30 inside of Solo Showdown. And ever since then, I wanted to prove that I can play Daryl and be skilled with him. I really like Daryl for his potential. If you see the two montage videos I've uploaded, based on decals and stay, they have been mostly comprised of Daryl clips. In fact, a subscriber, hello, even pointed out that I'm one of the only people to make dedicated Daryl montages. Now, what's my deal? Well, I was inspired by Pika and his bull play, but I wanted to try to be unique in that sense, so I selected Daryl. Daryl has a lot of potential for clips, but it can be harder to utilize them than that of Mortis and Bull, and I honestly like the challenge of that. Uh, not a very good Daryl, but I'm slowly getting there. Another thing is the simplicity of Daryl. As mentioned before, Daryl can be harder to get clips with. Uh, this is due to his simplistic kit, but his simplistic kit forces the player to be creative, and it's something I really like. His super is uh, the main part of him, what make, makes him so fun. See, with Daryl's super, there's so much potential for cool plays. You have the uh, kick the ball roll, means goal. You have the um, double roll technique, which guarantees a kill easier. And with his first gadget, I really like the idea of super chaining, kind of like how uh, Bull can chain supers. But it's a little harder. And the idea is it's just, just he's a very mechanical brawler, and I really enjoy him. Uh, I should also mention that I am one of like the few people who actually enjoys uh, Daryl's character design and his personality and his voice. I don't know, it's just something about the high-pitched voice being unique from all the other robot brawlers. Oh yeah, and I should also mention that Daryl is a robot barrel. I mean, you can't really get much better than that. It's, he's just such a fun, bubbly personality, and it really resonates with me well. In terms of both personality and mechanics, I really enjoy him. Uh, my preferred build for Daryl is the first star power steel hoops with the first gadget recoiling rotator. Now, why is this? Well, because uh, when Daryl rolls in, he can, uh, has a tendency to die a lot, and so with steel hoops makes it easier to roll on people and continuously super chain because you have that protection when rolling, and it that just allows for such fun plays. And like I said, the gadget is what allows you to super chain with Daryl. I don't want to get like too mechanical. It's not really like a a guide, but, uh, that's just the main premise of what makes Daryl so fun. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a brief summary, Daryl was the first brawler I, like, really decided to push, and because of that, he's a very special place in my heart. He's also a very simple brawler, but because of that, it requires the player to think carefully in order to maximize his potential, which is always something that's enjoyable. High skill cap, not just some broken mechanic, like, 50% of all the other brawlers released. But, uh, yeah. And I actually really like his personality and his voice. I know I'm, like, the minority in that, but, uh, that's the way it is. So, I really hope to continue my love for Daryl. He's a blast to play, and well, just keep recording clips with him, so expect a lot more Daryl content in the future. Um, with that being said, that's gonna do it all for this brief summary as to why I am a Daryl main. Uh, I once again want to thank you all for the increased support. Like, I'm growing at a rate that I really wasn't expecting to, so 
I wanted to do something a little special, because you notice it's not really scripted this time versus the others. And just to show my true appreciation, this is honestly me talking. This isn't any scripted. Right? And so with that, I wanted to thank you all again, and uh, this is M5. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering why that one video has 26,000 views, uh, don't ask me. YouTube algorithm stuff, I guess. <laughs>